Good morning. My name is James and this is Kieran. We will be your MCs for this morning's assembly. Please join us in acknowledging that we live, work, and learn on the traditional lands of the Musqueam, Sayatooth, and Kosquamish Kosayish peoples. Please stand to sing the anthem and school song sung in English. Okay, okay. I'll bite. What is it? Why are you so happy? Are you having a play date? Are you playing soccer? Are you going biking? Do you give up? Yes, please. Just tell me. My house team was awarded 500 house points for doing the floss during the Terry Fox run, and I think we're going to win this week. For more about a house team, For more about house teams, please welcome 3-H to the stage. to get my school uniform. Yes, same, but seriously, who are you and what exactly did they do? I don't know, let's find out. You have enemies? Good. That means you stood up for something, sometime in your life. 
Churchill is a painter and writer who in 1953 was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Over his lifetime, he wrote 43 books and created over 500 paintings. Did you know that Churchill was also a newspaper reporter? In 1899, he traveled to South Africa, Africa to write about the Boer War. Soon after he arrived, he was captured and put in prison. But he, Churchill refused to give up. He escaped by slipping over the prison wall and he paid the capture for nine days before he fled to his freedom. I heard about this. His daring escape made him a national hero and when he returned home to England, he held several important government jobs, including the productions of weapons. As part of his work, he helped develop the first combat tank. Whoa, that's phenomenal. During World War II, England realized that they needed a strong leader, and Churchill soon became the new prime minister. He was an inspiration to his people. He worked long hours in underground bunkers, visiting damaged areas of London, and made speeches to rally the people. He never backed down from his message that Britain would never give up. His gift was his words, bringing people together, and inspiring them. And I think about the PYP answers, I think he was enthusiastic, conflict, and committed all through his life. He never gave up. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more, so that we may fear less. At a time when a few women were scientists, one woman's research and discoveries changed the world. Mary Curie's uranium research led her to discover that atoms store a huge amount of energy. Not atoms, atoms. <laughs> this discovery changed scientists' understanding of atoms and led to a new field of science, atomic physics. Her research and discoveries led to new treatments in medicine and discoveries of radiocarbonization dating. This is the way to learn the ancient life forms. Mary Curie was the first woman to be awarded the Nobel Prize and the only person ever to be awarded the Nobel Prize in two different scientific fields, physics and chemistry. She showed the world how to stay strong in the face of difficult obstacles. For example, since Mary and her sister could not afford tuition at university, they made a deal. For, for five years, Mary earned money for her sister's education, and then her sister turned a favor after completing her degree. In her words, life is not easy for any of us. We must have perseverance and, above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something, and that thing must be attained. Hi, everyone. Oh, I think that's wrong, Smith. <laughs> I try to avoid the trap of people thinking that I am wiser, different, or an expert at all sorts of things, because I am not. I know a bit of science and was looking to be a part of a crucial discovery. You would think that researching Dr. Michael Smith, who is from Vancouver and worked at UBC, would be easy, but we had to look really long and hard to find some interesting facts about him. For example, we learned that for seven years, Mr. Smith was a Boy Scout, and this experience really ignited the lifelong passion for the rugged outdoors of beautiful British Columbia. Like me, the forest was his happy place. He was also awarded a Nobel Prize in chemistry for discovering how to make a genetic mutation at any spot on a DNA molecule. His research had led to new ways of finding and treating genetic diseases. Dr. Michael Smith didn't become successful by accident. He was a very hard worker and dedicated to his research. When he first submitted his article, it was rejected, but he never stopped working on it. Above all, he was always prepared to explore new ideas, even if it meant learning entirely different processes and techniques. 
Beyond being a committed, passionate, and successful scientist, he was also incredibly humble and generous. For instance, he gave half of his Nobel Prize money to researchers working in schizophrenia, and the other half both to BC Science World and the Society for Canadian Women in Science and Technology. In 1999, he also received the Royal Bank Award and donated the grant money to BC Cancer Foundation Clearly, this quite caring and selfless Vancouverite is a spectacular role model, and I am proud to be on the Smith House team. I look to a day when people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the contents of their character. The king was remembered as the man of peace and the champion of rights for people of every color. He was the Baptist minister from Atlanta, Georgia, who used peaceful, nonviolent ways to help others in need. For example, Martin Luther King helped lead a boycott against the city buses of Montgomery when a black woman by the name of Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat for a white man. Rosa was soon arrested and people were outraged. In protest, Martin Luther King implored black citizens not to use the city buses for over a year. Martin Luther King organized many protests and marches, but he was most well known for the march in Washington, D.C. in August 1963. This is where he spoke to over a quarter of a million people about freedom, right, and dignity for all people. This is where he gave his I Have a Dream speech. Martin Luther King demonstrated tremendous courage, confidence, and commitment. Even though he was jailed over 20 times in his life, he never stopped fighting to make his dream of equality a reality. As a result, he was the youngest person ever to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, and the USA has a national holiday to honor this great American leader. Wow, did these guys ever sleep? Each person seemed to do so much. I agree, and even though they lived in different parts of the world, they strongly desired to make the world a better place for everyone, including us. Yeah, I am feeling really inspired and grateful we had these famous role models. Role models that have both achieved and at times sacrificed so much for their passions and causes. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Zechner, for your support, and 3-H for your assembly. It was pretty cool how they inquired into Kiri Smith, who was working in Churchill, and how they demonstrate a variety of PYP attitudes. Please welcome Ms. Joy to the stage for a special announcement and marriage certificates. So I have no special announcement. However, I do want to say that um, for your 500 house points, James, that you guys won, you'll have to wait for that for next week when Miss Mitchell and the grade sixes come back. So that's my special announcement. Sorry about that. Um, thank you to 3H for being such a brave class to, to start us off for the year with our first assembly. Well done. What risk takers. I think you spoke really, really well. Um, you shared some great stories of enthusiasm, perseverance, and it gave us a, a, a good start to the year to find out really just who our house patrons are. So it actually puts a, a nice, it gives us a nice context to work with. Um, so we're going to be handing out certificates, and I'm going to ask Mr. H and Ms. Verma to come up to stage and also to say thank you really a lot for helping our little people 
start off the first assembly. That was really brave of you. So just for all the students who are new to um, Mulgrave, what we do is our certificates that we hand out on a Friday are there to recognize students who have shown enthusiasm, effort, patience, perseverance, and action in some aspect of their learning um, uh, for the week that's just passed. So we ask that you hold your applause until everybody has come up and received their certificate. I'm going to call up the students grade by grade. When you get up to the stage, you come up this way and you stop right here. And when everybody's here, I'm going to shake your hand and you will go and receive your certificate from the teachers. Then you're going to walk across the stage and stay put. So at the end of it all, we can then give you a nice round of applause. So let's get started. In 3H, Simon Shan. In 3J, Avery Watson. In 3J, Amelia Kostafin. And in 3S, Joshua Hong. In grade 2C, Eleanor Lin. In 2G, Cadence Jung. In 2G, Alex Orosa. In 2PK, Milana Byman. In grade 1K, Jonas Chu. In 1L, Melissa Chen. In 1W, Liam Go. In 4K, Daniel Ranzans. In 4P, Gertak Beer Sidhu. And in 4S, Benjamin Zhang. Gertak Beer is just coming down from the box. In 5C, we have Liana Samji. In 5P, Isla Kreira. In 5RB, Alex Hatchi. And in 5RB, Lisa Saba. Well done, everybody. Great first week. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks very much. You can head off to your chairs. Okay, 
So just another little congratulations for all, to all of you for behaving so well in your first assembly. That's a terrific job. Well done. Um, the other thank you is to Karen and James, who were our MCs this morning, who did a really super job. Thank you very much. Let's give them applause. So it's been a busy week. We've had the grade fours go to camp at Camp Elphinstone. They had a fabulous time. They were great troopers, and we, we were terribly proud of them. Uh, we have the grade sixes coming back this weekend, so they're going to be with us um, on Monday, and I'm sure they're going to have some fabulous stories to share with us. So um, with that, I um, hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you, parents, for coming and, and supporting us, um, and have a great day. Thank you.